Hello, I'm Jürgen Bellmann from Statistics. In the YouTube video CSM Daisy Bridge Design, we showed you how to design the final bridge. Here we now show you how to define stages. In the example CSM30, for example, we have a cable state bridge and we, of course, have construction stages, maybe stage number 163. We can also have a free cantilever pre-stressed bridge and, of course, over here we also have to design all construction stages. To keep it simple, in this video I will show you this little example of a free cantilever bridge with a construction stage number 179. And of course we have special loads, life loads, in this stage and maybe a wind load in this construction stage. Please remember the final design from the video CSM Daisy Bridge Design. We have the GPC dead load pre-stress creep load cases from the construction stage manager and they give the GPC forces in AQB. The variable actions, that is life load, temperature, settlement, are presuperposed in maxima in a container YD and they come with a container to the AQB beam design. In the stage design we nearly have the same procedure. We also take the GPC loads but only up to stage 179. And for the variable loads of course we have to define other stage loads but they can also be presuperposed in maxima in a container YD for the design container and so they can also be used in the AQB design in the same way as in the final design. So if we compare the final design with the stage design, we do not see a big difference. Here we have our actions, life load, temperature and so on. And in the stage design we define life load maybe on the cantilever, a wind load and a temperature. And this command here tells the program to design construction stage 179. With Daisy Maxi first the containers are created but nearly in the same way. Here for the final life loads and here from the stage life loads pre-superposed in a container. From the GPC parts the main difference is that we only use the GPC load cases up to stage 179. Now let's have a look to our example CSM 34. We see here our system and if we look to the CSM runs we make a magnitude of maybe 120 and go through the construction stages. We have new cantilevers, pre-stress and creep steps. And here now we have our stage 179 and this we want to design now. In the normal CSM we do not see a lot, but if we open the file underline csmlf.dat we see the list of stage load cases and we now see here our stage 179 and you can imagine it is now necessary that we only use these load cases up to 179. To define this stage we now write a CSM where we design construction stage 179 and we have to define the load 
cases for the construction stage that we want to apply. That is a live load. We have to define this in a load case 901 in advance. That is a beam loading. And we have an individual derrick load in this stage, maybe 8079. We see it here below, for every construction stage an individual derrick load. And of course we also have wind loading and temperature maybe in this stage. They all have to be defined with load case for a construction stage here. We give them an action and you can remember these actions then are automatically superposed in a maxima run. So it is necessary maybe for the wind loading and for the temperature loading you define your gamma values and your psi values in a SOFI load action run before. Now let's go back to our CSM input, load case construction stage design construction stage and then what to do? Make the containers with DZ max, make an ultimate limit design, maybe a crack design and a stress check. And store the new analysis in a file DECS and into this file we will now have a look. What will happen with this. At first these load cases that we have applied to our analysis are calculated in module ASE using the group settings for this construction stage. By the way, you can also use this group CSM command to calculate eigenvalues on this construction stage. Now the forces are available for the design. Then the normal maxima run will be started maybe to calculate the rare combination container using the live load, the additional derrick live load and temperature maybe. Then in the next maxima run we will make the same with the wind loading and then we will have a final superpositioning where we have our dead loads, pre-stress, creep and the container building the rare combination forces maybe for a quad design or for spring results. After this superpositioning we now have a short look to the created AQB run to design the beam elements in the ultimate limit state. And we now really see that only the GPC forces are used up to construction stage 179. And the program makes a combination with the maximum design level bending moment MY using all GPC loads and the pre-superposed container for the design forces. And they are designed in an ultimate limit state design. So this was only a look to the internal process of CSM DAISY. You do not have to look into this file. We now go back to our input file. If we now run the CSM part and the apply, we can look to the result. If we look to the created graphics of this run, you see a lot of plots of maxima, but then also the ultimate limit design. And we see here that some results really have been created. Here the shear reinforcement necessary for this construction stage. We now have successful designed this construction stage, but of course we have to design a lot of stages. If we look to the 
first page of the CSM output, we see this list. This has been done, the ultimate limit design and maybe the nonlinear concrete stress characteristic. This has been stored in a load case 1107 and the reinforcement has been stored in a reinforcement distribution number one. If we now want to design the next construction stage, by default also the same numbers 1107 and load case reinforcement 1 is used. So we have to copy these results before so that they are not overwritten. Sorry for this is a more complex behavior, but I will show you how you can do it. Therefore, we have prepared a file CSM34ALL. We define a construction stage design for a variable construction stage number, where also a variable individual derrick load is used. And when this analysis is finished, we can copy the results to another number. Maybe we can copy the reinforcement that had been created in reinforcement distribution 1 to a new number. And of course it is a good idea to use here the number maybe 179 for the result of the reinforcement in the design of 179 or 199. In the same way we can copy the ultimate limit force results to another load case where we can now use an offset. When we have prepared this, we can now make a CSM run for construction stage 129. The results are automatically copied to other load case numbers. Then we only change the number of the construction stage to 139 and run this construction stage design and the results are automatically copied to other numbers. But as I told you, this complex scenario is only necessary when you are more familiar with this technique. In the beginning, please open the file CSM34 where you only design one construction stage. So thanks for listening and goodbye.